Hey, why are you guys working? We got a bench press competition. Most you've ever done? No. Okay, so that's pretty good. He obviously rose to the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! Hey guys, it's day three. Yesterday, as you can see, John was actually talking about how we cut in that boulder into the deck, and Brian said, no, 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 no. And so we ended up cutting around the rock to fit into the deck, so we had, could not cut that deck. I love this guy. I just love this guy. I love we him couldn't too. do it without him, man. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, we're doing decent on progress. We're gonna see what today brings. What are they currently working on right now? Dry fit the rock into the deck to see if it, it'll, if they have to shim it up anywhere, if they suck. Cut it anywhere. How they achieved to notch this out was they took this rock outside and they took a concrete saw and made slits into it and then chipped out the back so then we could slide this rock over the deck. Take this young man right here. I have heard enough Brian giving him a hard time about getting on the construction team. So I just want to let the entire world and Team Aquascapes know that Mr. Jack is going to be coming to Tennessee to do some construction projects. Good to Brian keep selling him short. Just saying. That was on that note, welcome to day three. <laughs> We're off to a great start. We got a crew working in the back. Just dry fit the stone. We're gonna inset it into the deck to where it looks like it's actually grown up through the deck. In order to do that, we could have kept the deck, but instead we ended up marking the stone and slicing it with little slices of bread. We just dry fit it. We got a little bit of tweaking to do, so we're gonna shave this off and then we'll install it in. Today we're working on finishing up the pond. We're gonna cut over into the bridge area, tie that into the waterfall. We got Nicho, Matt, and Hunter working on the basin for a really cool bubbling rock feature. So we're gonna get the guts and everything in on that and get to setting that. Kick the day in full gear. What do you think, John? I don't know. Just waiting for you guys to get done with this elaborate production so that we can get back to work. There's a rock and an excavator in the middle of my job site. Just waiting patiently. <laughs> Everybody loves modern design. Want to see what you're up to?
it's Wednesday, week three, sandbox. I cannot wait to see what these things look like on week four. <laughs> it's still fun though. I'm super happy the one big waterfall. Finished uh, framing out the big waterfall. We have some gorgeous weathered limestone pieces that we brought in. It's looking cool. I would say we've got plenty of work left. It's we're probably gonna push a little later tonight just to make sure we get ahead of the game, but I'm loving the way things are turning out. I did want to take this time to go talk to Tristan. Whoa, it's always messing with that thing. I did want to take this time to go talk to Tristan uh, a little bit about what he's creating over in the back and then I'll kind of give you guys an update on where we're at right now. I also want to take this time to talk a little bit about that bench press competition yesterday and if you guys felt as if Greg was being fair, like do you think he was actually fully extended or did you see a lot more of like this? Just you let me know. I know what I saw, you tell me what you saw. I am impressed. I am impressed that he did do what he did but let's just be fair. Right? Hey Tristan, come over here for a second. Last time I took a picture of you over here, you were holding some clear tubes. Like, yeah. what? WTF, man, like. <laughs> oh, well, we got the clear tubes, so this limestone that we picked, actually has like a cave all the way underneath of it, so we really wanted to showcase some light underneath that thing. So I did a T in the very bottom of the plumbing with a light that shines straight up the column of water in hopes that that tube is gonna be emanating light from inside that cave under oh. and coming out the top. Now if it doesn't I work, I just spent a lot of extra money on pipe. So you guys it brought does. in a drill out weathered limestone piece yeah. and have had this vision for almost two years on creating kind of a fountain waterfall scape, right? Yeah, so dad had this vision that uh, <laughs> he drew on a napkin <laughs> for me and I kind of just took it and ran with it. As soon as I got really into it, good bit of rock set and got everything in place, he comes over and says, this is nothing like my vision. Oh. But go ahead and run with it. So wow. yeah, I guess I didn't get the right interpretation Thanks, from the Thanks, Pops. Yeah, thank you, Dad. <laughs> Great. So I can kind of visualize it. You've got, obviously this is your drilled out one here. You guys are getting a bigger backdrop up there. We'll get some evergreens. Yep. Kind of make it look like it's just kind of immersed from the, the woods there. <laughs> it's gonna drop. You get a lot of bib liners, maybe a little Babbly Brook fall coming in through here. Another one here. I see another one that's gonna happen over there. So water just kind of falling all over the place. It's really just more of a custom fountain feature. Pretty much, yeah. So it's gonna it's gonna be cool. We'll get some ferns and stuff around it. It's gonna have awesome sound and the view again from inside the shed yeah. is gonna be incredible. Oh, and you were right by the way? Oh, oh wait, yeah. Weren't full bench press. Yeah, no, right? Oh, yeah, you saw them. Press, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the first time we're actually getting a chance to talk about it. Dumb. There's that dog. <laughs> oh, there is. There you go, pond guy. People are talking about you. Challenge, mm -hmm. not me. I think Corey deserves uh, a, a fair challenge if you're gonna do it. The only thing I'm excited about is Corey jumping in the oh, water, yeah. right? Uh -huh. Like I know Greg can jump in 40 degree water and it's not gonna phase him at all. I'm pretty sure Corey jumping in the pond tomorrow. We'll have to get him out. Call 911 now, right? <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Oh. 